Hi guys, we're here today float fishing for spring roach on the Long River. We have nice conditions, mainly overcast, with an upstream breeze, which is ideal for fishing the method that we'll be using today, which is the stick float. Hopefully we can get a few fish on that. You see me here, feeding a ball of ground bait into the swim that I am fishing. The fish are very hungry at this time of year, as they are building themselves up in readiness for the stresses of spawning. As you can see, the sport can be very fast and furious, as the shoals of fish can be huge at this time of year. This would be my typical bait tray for spring roach fishing on the river. We are fishing for hungry fish, so we need to remember to bring plenty of feed to keep the shoal interested. For this we use a lot of particle feed in the ground bait to keep the fish grubbing around in our swim for longer. The particle mix that I use has boiled wheat, hemp seed, dead maggots, casters, and chopped up sweet corn, lots of small particles to keep the fish feeding in our swim. We mix the particle into the ground bait, then make a small ball which we can throw into the river where we are going to be fishing. Also on my bait tray, to feed over the top, I always use hemp seed. I wouldn't go roach fishing without it. It keeps the fish interested for long periods of time. We have some nice fresh casters on the side tray because big roach love crunching up casters. It's a great bait to feed in the flowing water as they sink slowly and can draw in fish from downstream. We have fresh red maggots for the hook. We mainly use them on the hook, but can feed a handful every now and again, just to keep the fish looking around for them. If the fishing gets really good, then I might use sweet corn on the hook, as this can often catch those bigger, more wary fish. Having a go on the waggler setup now. There's a the fish. It's important when you catch your fish to unhook them quickly and gently with wet hands and place in the keep net or release, keeping the fish out of the water for as little time as possible. If you are keeping your fish in a keep net, please make sure that it is a large net with plenty of room for the fish to move around in. The one I am using here today has a nice soft mesh to it so that the fish don't lose any scales or protective mucus. It's also a very long net at 14 foot which gives the fish plenty of room to move around in and we also don't want to put too many fish in one net so I often carry two nets with me. Particularly important at this time of year when large shoals are around. If you do keep fish in a net, try not to retain them any longer than 4 or 5 hours as they can get stressed and this can affect them around spawning time. But if you can at all, please remember to practice catch and release as it's much better for the fish.